Hello everyone, Marek Mulacic here and welcome to another episode, another video. This time it's Adobe After Effects and it's a new Adobe After Effects 2023 which just came out uh, a few days ago. And so first of all, when I'm opening a new project, then it's going to make a new version obviously, so I'll click OK. But what I want to tell you about this time, it's a quick one on exporting and exporting as mp4 files. I hope it's going to work this one. <laughs> one of the new features, uh, probably one of the, in a way, major new features in After Effects 2023 is that now, finally, we can export our compositions as mp4 files. You know, in the past, if you wanted to export your comp as mp4 file, you had to send it to Media Encoder because After Effects couldn't do MP4, it would just do MOV files, uh, pretty much it when it comes to video, plus some image formats, so it couldn't do animated GIF either. But now, when you add uh, your composition into the render queue, just a normal standard render queue here in After Effects, and so you got your best settings as usual, so I'll leave it, and you obviously you choose where you want to save it or what you want to call it, so if I put it right on a desktop here, for example, I'll leave it as a my low effort, that's fine. But here when you go to the output module, there, we now have H264, which creates MP4 files. And you have three presets in here with much render settings and three different bit rates. So for example, if we export in, say, for the web, like social media, 15 megabits per second would be just fine. Could probably even go to 10, but I'll say 15 megabits per second. So this will create an MP4 file for us in this case. And if we click on it, you get the usual dialog box, which is like here. <laughs> so you got the H264, which is new here. Um, still no animated GIF, but maybe in the future, who knows. And we do have format options here as well, so we can click on it and we can customize the bitrate. So if I'm exporting, say, for the web, for social media, I could lower the bitrate a little bit to, say, maybe about 10, 11, maybe 10 megabits per second. Depends on what you're working on and how big is the file size, because if it's big, you may want to reduce the file size. So I can reduce the bitrate or click OK or press Enter on a keyboard if you can't see the OK button. <laughs> and I will click OK here. And now we can render this as MP4 file. So I can hit Render here and it's going to render as an MP4 file in this case using the H.264 codec. So now in After Effects 2023, if you export in as MP4 file, you can now do it natively inside After Effects. You don't have to export to Media Encoder anymore. Okay, this was a quick one uh, this time. I hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, let me know. If you have any comments, leave the comments below. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you soon on another video. Thank you for watching. I'm Marek Mulacic from marekmulacic.com. And for more videos, have a look at some more videos in here for Premiere and After Effects and some other stuff as well. So thank you for watching. Bye bye for now.